Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital, Vital, Look. And today we're going to be blasting Philadelphia's piss grave, suicide euphoria. They will be releasing and recording a new record this year. I think in April, Damien said they're going to be hitting up the, res the recording studio. So expect some fucking filthiness out of Philadelphia in 2018. Yes. And, uh, alright. Today's video, year-end top 10 death metal. But also, it has to go in somewhere. I know I should make a separate video, and I, I will, but for right now, death metal 7 inches slash EPs, demos, whatever. But, uh, right now, I want to talk about petrifications, Summon horrendous destruction on sentient ruin laboratories. Oh my god. This is an amazing, amazing demo. Absolute filthy fucking old school death metal. The brutal way. Just awesome, awesome stuff here. So goddamn good. Stagnation of uh, transmigration. The headless one. So many fucking sick tracks just on this, uh, fucking four-track beast. <laughs> I know that doesn't make too much sense, but these four tracks hold up enough weight that it's like, alright, I cannot actually literally wait until, you know, I get to hear a full length from Petrification. This was an amazing demo and an awesome, awesome introduction to some filthy, heavy death metal. Now, over to Denmark, and you're going to see this guy pop up a little bit on this list, and uh, it says, Hyperdonitas Abhorrence Veil vale on Night Shroud Records. This is probably two of the heaviest death metal tracks recorded in 2017. I'm not even remotely exaggerating. Seriously, not at all. This is so fucking heavy, like... It has uh, Dave from fucking Undergang, Kill Town. This is absolutely just, oh my god, so fucking good. I wish it had all three tracks. Like, for some reason, like, the digital download comes with a bonus track, but it's not on the 7 inch for some reason. I, I don't know why, but. From the artwork in here to the fucking just vocal delivery to the lyrics that are just straight up as like death metal as it possibly gets. This is so fucking good. Hyperdonita, Abhorrence Veil, vale, Night Shroud Records. I can't recommend this enough. Like, this is some of the best death metal in general in 2017, let alone the fact that. It's only fucking two tracks and a total dick tease, but fuck yeah. So good. And, uh, only gonna do one CD, and it's gonna be the new Percussor, Remnants of Horror. I really fucking love this. It sounds like Morbid Angel, Steve Tucker Error, meets Bolt Thrower, Fourth Crusade Error. Put those two together in a blender, and yeah, that's what the Remnants of Horror sounds like. Absolute crushing old school Pennsylvania death metal, and literally, these dudes have been around playing tunes since the early 90s. Amazing stuff on Lost Apparition Records, Percussor, and this is seriously just some awesome, awesome stuff. Really, really underground sick fucking vile aggression such an awesome song uh relinquished by Rel relinquished vitality is amazing as well thriving on misery just awesome awesome crushing songs by percussor their third full length in three years as well so that's fucking awesome and uh they live up the road and happen to put out an amazing album and fucking stoked on it still Alright, now these are not going to be in order until the last album, okay? But we're going to start things off with Asphalix, 
the creation on 20 bucks spin records now you have members of Necrot, Vastum they dropped the crusty vibe of their early records and went straight up with an old school death metal attack on here and I love this album I think it sounds fucking amazing the artwork's great production's great I know some people were complaining about this and giving it like mixed reviews I love this shit. I love my death metal cavernous, fucking vicious, and just fucking filthy. And that's what this is. Like, upon this offer, Suffer Life in Fragments sounds like early Cannibal Corpse. It's amazing. Like, imagine, like, eating back to life Cannibal Corpse meets Vastum. Like, it's awesome. And I love, again, the A side on here, though. I really think is a lot stronger than the B-side, but you get fucking, like I said, Upon This Altar, Suffer, Life and Fragments is one of my favorite death metal songs of the year. God is Laughing, Extra Mental Offerings, Echoic Skin and Decreation, absolutely crushing death metal from the Bay Area. Killer, killer stuff. If you're a fan of Vastum and Necrot, just check this out, because... It fucking rules. I don't know why people... I guess it's because they drop the crustier aspects of their music, but this is an amazing fucking release right here. 20 bucks spin. Esphalix. Decreation. Next up... Long Island's Artificial Brain Infrared Horizon. Oh my god, this caught me completely off guard. I went to the record release show at this year, last year's, uh, well yeah, this year's 2017 Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. Got to see the record release show for this fucking beast right here. Wow. Fucking wow. Who would think that brutal guttural death metal could sound so interesting? Like... Oh my god, from the scientific, like, sci-fi influenced lyrics and songs and just, oh my god, there's mixes of black metal, all sorts of just awesomeness on here, so fucking good, and the vocals on here, and the guest vocals on here are just amazing, but just in general and compared to their last full length, this is just, oh, oh my god, I feel like it's a massive step up, and tracks like Floating in Delirium, the title track, and then like Anchored in the Inlaid Arc, Mist Like Mercury, Graveyard of Lightless Planets, oh my fucking god. If you have not heard Artificial Brain Infrared Horizon, and you love brutal New York death metal, you need this in your fucking life. They're on tour with Cattle Decapitation right now. So go check them out. Show some support. They're fucking amazing. And this is on Profound Lore Records. Next up. Fuck yeah. Portugal's The Ominous Circle. Appalling Ascension. Double LP. Absolute evil, ritualistic, heavier than fucking, oh my god, heavier than a garbage truck dropping off the Empire State Building, death metal, evil fucking awesomeness right here, hell, the sides are even marked uh, AMSG, which is just awesome in general, but so goddamn good, so heavy. And I don't know why more people don't talk about how fucking sick Ominous Circle is on 20 bucks spin. And if you're overseas, Osmos Productions, this is so goddamn heavy and just an incredible release. I Words don't give it justice, pretty much. Like, it's so fucking heavy. I just, I love it. Vocally, this really, really reminds me, though, of, like, Dead Congregation and... I would say if you're a fan of like Grave Miasma, Mephitic, Dead Congregation, Lucifer, you're gonna find something to love about the Ominous Circle. It's not like, uh, you know, Impetuous Ritual version 2.0 or anything like that. 
it's fucking its own monster, and it's fucking great. And, uh, next up... Undergang, a.k.a. Undergang's Mythanthropology, Mythanthropology, however you want to say it, however you want to call it. Oh my god, I love it. Kill Town Denmark, again. You get Dave Milkinson just absolutely destroying vocal duties and guitar duties on this release. I love this band, I love this record. It's a lot um, less doomy than their previous stuff, but oh my god, so fucking sick. The way the piano kicks in with um, In Benman's Berksider, I do not speak Danish whatsoever, so I cannot even read you really any of these track titles, except for the fucking cover track, The Chasm, so goddamn good. Seriously, this is fucking so heavy and just amazing vocally, amazing riff-wise, production-wise, Ear Hammer Studios. Fuck yeah. They traveled all the way to California to record this monster. A lot of these releases, like the uh, Sphalix as well, was recorded at Ear Hammer Studios. Next up, also, Frenerlith. Another Dave Milkinson project, but pretty sure he just takes over. I know he has some vocals on here, but uh, yeah, Dave does guitar and vocals, but uh, this is so fucking good along with Simon Daniel, Tuna on drums, Jacob on bass. This is so fucking sick. Uh, this actually um, was going to be my album of the year when it came to death metal uh i wasn't gonna tell a soul but um i kind of wanted to stick to my original uh record that i had picked out because it still kicks fucking so much ass but desolate endscape by frenolith is such a killer debut record i can't think of a better way to actually you know come out with a full length than this right here absolutely crushing riffs but where Undergang focuses a lot more on brutality, Frenerlith, it's more about, like, the songwriting and just creating, like, just these landscapes of just death metal fucking awesomeness. And this is in English. Amazing tracks like Conquering Divinity, Eradicated, Desolate Endscape, Defleshed in Ecstasy, Dysmorpheus and channeling a seismic eruption. Amazing, amazing shit right here. From Frenerlith, more Kill Town, Death Metal. So fucking good. I'm running out of time here. And you know what? We're gonna make this a two part video. I apologize, but yeah, I'm gonna have to. So, alright, this is the end of part one, and this is sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Deliciousness for Satan. Going to see Tomb Mold tonight. So fucking stoked with Devil's Master. Morose. Hell yeah. Eight bucks. Sick. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be right back with part two. And uh, thanks for watching. You guys rule. We've been listening to... Uh, Piss Grave, Suicide Euphoria, on Profound Lore Records. So fucking good. So heavy. So filthy. Get into it. And I will be right back. Thanks for watching, though. This is the end of part one. Time for part two.